Good day, and welcome to Emmanuel Lutheran Church here in Seabowing. I'm Pastor Boyer, and I've got my family with me today to help with this brief devotional message. And of course, we want to wish all of you a very happy and a very blessed Thanksgiving. So I've got a question for my kids here today. What are we thankful for? What are you guys thankful for? God. Thankful for God, going right to the big one, everything that encompasses everything. What about the girls? What are you guys thankful for? Food? Grace, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful recently that I've gotten a lot of help in the kitchen. A lot of kids have been helping me wash dishes and make dinner. We're very thankful for that. Thankful for family, of course, for one another. Thankful to be able to have a wonderful church like this. We had some really nice music tonight as well at our Thanksgiving Eve service. We had some great musicians playing, so we're thankful for those musicians as well. Sarah played timpani and Jacob did chimes and Peter did the recorder, so we're very thankful for that as well. Of course, just like Jacob said first off, we're thankful for God and all that God has done for us. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, Moses reminded the Israelites that God helped them their entire way as they were going from Egypt. Where were the Israelites going as they left Egypt? Mom's answering for you, to the promised land. And they were almost there in the book of Deuteronomy. They were almost there. And so Moses reminds the people of Israel of everything that happened before and how God was with them every single step of the way. Is God with us every step of our way? Yes, he is. We know that Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And he said, lo, I am with you always to the very end of the age. But Moses also reminded the people what was most important in Deuteronomy, not the bread, but the word of God. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. What are the most important words that come from God's mouth? What do you guys think? What did Jesus say on the cross? It is finished. Those words, that declaration that our sin is over and paid for and done with. We hear those in baptism as God calls each of us by name, washing away our sins. We hear those words in the absolution at the beginning of the divine service as God forgives our sins. God's word of creative forgiveness, that powerful word, is one of the best words that God ever speaks as he forgives our sins. And of course, we are thankful in that. We want to wrap up today with a short prayer. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for all the blessings you give us in this life. We thank you for family, for friends, for house, for home, for food, for clothing. The list goes on and on. But most importantly, we thank you for your word that teaches us of all that Jesus has done for us. We thank you for his declaration to us that our sins are forgiven. How we rejoice before you in the forgiveness of our sins. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings upon all of our members here at Emmanuel and Christians throughout this nation on this day of thanksgiving. Bless us all as your people. Strengthen us in our faith and grant us always to trust in Jesus Christ. But we pray all of this in his holy name. Amen. Thank you again for watching. Again, I'm Pastor Boyer here at Emmanuel with my family. Thank you for watching. And again, a very blessed Thanksgiving to you and yours. Thank you and God bless. Happy Thanksgiving.